Partner? Yes, sir. How are you getting along? Well, it's kind of rough down here. <laughs> well, it's rough everywhere, but... Uh, I'm not having a hard time you are. <laughs> well, we got two votes today. We had 414 to nothing in the... Uh, uh, in the House on the Vietnam Resolution and 88 to 2 in the Senate. Well, that's wonderful. I've got a little, a little part of this country and you've got all of it and most of the world. Well, <laughs> you're not just the I want to talk to you. Uh, have you got a pencil there? Yes, sir. Uh, the Federal District Court last night issued an order requiring the school district to transfer Negroes to high schools in the 11th and 12th grades upon their application at St. Helena Parish. Yes, sir, I was aware of that order. The application, they tell me, will be made on the 13th and 14th and must be acted on by the 15th. School begins the 17th. Yes. Uh, now that the district court has decreed that uh, there must be desegregation, and I think that's a specific direction of the Fifth Circuit Court, uh, the question is, uh, uh, how that order is complied with. Now, the judge informs us that the counsel for the school district, the attorney general, uh, Jack Gramillion, is it? Jack Gramillion. Uh, he was there in, that in the office that day. We came to see Yeah, I remember. He agreed to the issuance of the order. Yes, they tell me the local police force consists of a sheriff and two or three deputies, and that uh, they've had some core workers in that parish and voter registration, and they haven't been harmed or harassed. But despite this, uh, there's some feeling uh, that uh, uh, that area uh, uh, being on the border there, and there might be some trouble when the schools are desegregated, uh, not from particular from school authorities, but could be from outsiders. Uh, our, uh, our information is very confidentially that there's a good, uh, good deal of this group that's been operating in Georgia and Mississippi these last few days, the Klan people in there. And, uh, they, they, we got some FBI people that are infiltrated, and they say they're pretty strong. Now, we feel that law and order ought to be maintained, and uh, I uh, uh, assume well, that... We do uh, too, Mr. President, and uh, we believe it will be. Now, I talked with the Attorney General this morning, and he feels like that, uh, well, this again is confidential, that uh, the federal court was as lenient as they, as they possibly could be. And uh, we, 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 are, we are very, feel, uh, uh, we feel confident that uh, there won't be any violence up there. Well, I, what, I, uh, what I believe, I, I think, uh, I know the state is as anxious to keep uh, federal troops out as we are, and I certainly don't want them to come in, but uh, 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 if the state uh, is willing to guarantee law and order, I sure don't want to, uh, I want to work through the state. And, well, we uh, certainly hope that uh, you'll give us an opportunity to preserve it because we propose to do it. Well, I knew that was the way you felt, but I thought that uh, 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 there are a good many persuasive points that I might make to you as question. Uh, uh, I think that uh, if if you could uh, give us that assurance and make a statement, then uh, we haven't had uh, troops go in to uh, uh, interfere in a high school operation since Little Rock, 56, and we thought that was very bad at that time, as as you remember. Uh, uh, and uh, I have had FBI in Mississippi and in uh, Georgia and in Harlem, but uh, I have them go and report to the governor. And uh, he turns them over, he works with the state police, and uh, they all work together just like uh, they want outfit. And I don't like to be... Uh, sending these troops, and I think if you could uh, uh, just uh, assure us or tell me that uh, you don't want any federal troops in there, and that... Uh, I don't think the people do. Uh, and it's not necessary from the state and local authorities that you guarantee adequate personnel, then I, I think that'll kind of take care of us. Now, you can say to your own people there, our records here show that practically every southern state has affected integration without the need of federal troops. Alabama has, Georgia has, Florida has, Texas, South Carolina, Arkansas, Louisiana itself. The last time federal troops were necessary to desegregate a high school was in Little Rock, 56. Now, if uh, you could issue a statement saying that without regard to whether you approve the order or not, that hasn't got anything to do with it, it's going to be law and order in Louisiana as long as you're governor. I think that would have a powerful impact on the situation, and it would serve to keep these hoodlums and terrorists 
from outside of the state to, from moving in to stir up this situation. Dick Russell made an awful good statement, and I believe Senator Allen, I'm not positive, but... Uh, our and situation, we don't think, has become explosive to you yet. It hasn't got that critical. Might be well if you talk to the sheriff up there and uh, let him know how you feel. Uh, very confidential. We've got some of the law enforcement officers involved in this uh, Mississippi thing, we're afraid. And might be you could give a little leadership to him. I don't know how he feels, but I don't want to be talking to him. The only one I want to talk to is the governor. I want to assure him of my desire and my willingness to cooperate completely with him in every aspect of the problem, as long as uh, he can uh, assure me that uh, uh, law and order will be maintained, because my duty to enforce these orders, uh, if I don't, and I want, to, I want the local people to handle them, and uh, I, I know and believe that you can and will. We're certainly going to attempt to, Mr. President, as I see. We're just as anxious as you are to prevent uh, any repetition of what happened over Mississippi. Yeah. We just don't believe anything like that's going to happen in our state. And we don't think that uh, we've got quite the situation here that they have in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're doing everything we can, as I see, to keep our, our boiling point uh, awfully high. And uh, we, we just don't anticipate anything like that. Well, know? now, would you mind, uh, would you uh, feel uh, uh, liberty to kind of talk to those local folks up there and uh, well, be prepared? I uh, turned journal early this morning. He yeah. called me and gave me the details of the order, and he thought uh, that uh, it was, frankly, about as soft as we could possibly expect out of the federal court. Yeah. yeah. And he really, really felt like that uh, we had gained, uh, the such a thing as that, gained some kind of a victory by, it, by, yeah. the, uh, by the type of order that was issued. Yeah. And he told me that uh, the people in St. Helena, the school people, felt the same way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we really don't expect any explosive situation there up there at St. Helena. And in view of the way the order is written, I uh, think the early grade thing would be what would really cause us serious, serious mm -hmm. trouble here if we started mm -hmm. that immediately. And if there is, you're prepared and we'll handle it. Yes, sir, we're prepared to preserve law and order. You just call me and call out our guard. We, we well, not, we're not going to allow anything to happen here where it just gets out of here. I'm going home for the weekend, and I'll just leave it that way. And if anything develops that changes it in any way, you just pick up the phone and call me, and we'll just uh, we'll just treat these things confidential and work closely together. And anything I can do to make your life any easier, I won't do it because I know you got enough problems. Really I know it. Oh, I know it. I know it. But I'm not going to do any more than I have to to uh, you make. You suppose that, uh, that I keep this uh, this uh, the fact that you call me uh, more or less to ourselves? Yeah, that's what I would do. I don't think there's anything to be gained on. The other hand, well, then, uh, on the other hand, I wouldn't object. I, I'm not going to say anything about it, but uh, I want you to know as long. What I'll do, uh, I'll just go off and unless someone asks me directly if they do, of course I'll let them know. Yeah. Uh, well, I won't say. I won't say a word about it, and uh, if uh, anything but did you come. As if you were concerned uh, about the, about violence up there, and of course, as you uh, of course have a duty to be. And I'd show you that uh, we felt like we could take care of it, and uh, we we were just as anxious to prevent violence as you were. That's right. We could, and we felt we could. Our state police, necessarily our guard, keep down about it. I think we can prevent. That's right. Well, I, I won't say a thing about it, and you don't either. And if anybody should raise a question, we both just agree that uh, 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 I ask you to just issue a statement that you're going to be this. This court's done this, and that you're going to be able to look after yourself, and uh, uh, we won't do anything. We hear from you. Thing in the world that you know that we can do or you can do now that this order's been issued to keep those core representatives out of that now it sure wouldn't make the yep. situation better the outside is what really stirs them up yep. and i think you're aware of that yeah i sure do now. they would stay out of there and, and from now on since they've accomplished their school segregation order if they would need that thing long enough it sure would be a lot easier for them yeah. but I, I don't fear really for any any real harm to the local negroes the harm I'm afraid of, the, the most likely place that should occur, would be to the outsiders coming in there now. I just pass it on to you, and I'm sure you perhaps are aware of as I am. I sure am, Governor, and I'll, I'll work with you, and we'll just leave it this way unless uh, something develops that gets out of hand, and you let me know. All right, Mr. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye.